Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Thursday, July the 6th, 2023. Today we're pulling from the Game of Thrones Tarot Cards for Throne Thursday. We're starting off with the Six of Spears. We are the victor wearing the wreath. We are the champions. We are sitting there and forging forward. We're starting this new chapter in our book where it's like we're kicking butt and taking names. We're sitting there not taking any bull crud, you know? We're channeling our Queen of Spears. You may have been getting a lot of channels messages, especially if you're on a healing journey, if you're on um, a spiritual journey, you know, I feel like a lot of us, which I could see if, like one in particular, which is Will, he's a UK healer and he, you know, he was just like, I channel that this is on your mind. Like I was worrying about finances and anyone that watches my channel know, like I was just like very like, why am I like obsessed with this, you know? And it's just like, spirit was like, showing me like it didn't take you five years to get to this point like it didn't take you two seconds to get to this point it was f over a time of five years you know and I'm like okay and they're like but you could see like it's not in such a massive way where I can be like relief but my hard work is paying off like I am getting to where you know things are going to start spinning in a positive way you know sitting there and taking down bills so like my house insurance, my tenants insurance was like, you know, they kept increasing and increasing. And I'm like, they're like, oh, don't worry. Next year it's going to go down. Like it's going to even out. And I'm like, okay, like give it another year. Cause you know, I'm like, all right, you know, there was flooding going on or something. They kept on blaming on something. So they're increasing in another 20 bucks this year, every single month. And I'm like, you know what? Enough is enough. I took my loyalty somewhere else. You know what I mean? So it's just like, we're all, I feel like a lot of us are trying to shuffle move things around. That's what we all do. Try to save money, either put it away for a rainy day or a lot of us are putting it on food or uh, hydro bills or gasoline to get to work. So it's just like, you know, we're not saving millions of dollars here. You know, it's just like readjusting and what makes sense, you know, where our money is going to be put to the most use where we're not getting abused. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, I, I didn't even realize it was Princess Diana's birthday and I was getting so much of her energy and I'm like, why am I feeling this so potently, you know? Um, I even started watching The Crown. I was like, oh, I'm going to start watching The Crown. I'm going to start watching The Crown. So I started watching The Crown and it's just like, um, you know, I got, ch I had channel messages about uh, the children before, her kids, William and Harry, and I'm just like, this seems so out there. Like, this doesn't even seem plausible. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I put it out there anyway, because it was a share channel message. And I do that with my like full moon forecast and my new moon. And then it was just like, it came even more potently. And I'm like, you know, I feel like this is maybe a way to prevent something from happening. So I'm going to end up doing a video about it, you know, and I'm going to start doing my channel messages that are about the world that way. So it's shared. You know what I mean? Because I, I got positive confirmation of this because I would sit there and some of the things so, seem so out there and it's just like, it'll happen. Like the whole thing with Russia and China coming together, you know, they were showing that and I'm like, they were showing the two flags coming together and I was just like, what? You know what I mean? I'm like, how in the heck would that happen? You know what I mean? And it's, that's what's happening now. Putin and the, the president or whom, whatever, the ruler of China are coming together, you know? And I'm like, well, so maybe it's not so far out there. You know what I mean? And I know other healers, when I've talked about, you know, how Harry will become the king of England over William, you know what I mean? And over all of his kids, it's just like, what the heck? You know what I mean? So I'm not the only one that's been, that these messages have been shared with. So I feel like it's like changing the way that the message is delivered. You know what I mean? Because I've had messages where it goes directly to people, like with Wendy Williams, I sat there and I sent it to her. She's like, I don't know. Some people are saying I'm not doing good. I'm like, girl, I'm just giving you a heads up. And when I, I was channeled, what happened? You know what I mean? Look at the poor thing. You know, it's not a thing. Look at the poor woman. You know what I mean? She gave her life and soul to this industry. And, you know, we we all miss her. Everyone that really loves her shadiness. Like, I would laugh so hard with her shade. I'm like, damn, girl. <laughs> like Jason Lee and her are like the shadiest of the shade but I love but you know what I mean it's just like it's it's true but you don't like it's like you filter these things you know what I mean they don't have no filter they just say it they're just like you know they look at you for a response and you're just like uh and your jaw is on the ground because you're like aren't you supposed to filter those things and say those in your mind <laughs> you know what I mean but it's like check out Jason Lee honestly he will not he will not disappoint you know 
But um, it's just like I've shared these messages, Jeffree Star and stuff like that. I've reached out to them. I'm like, I am not looking for money. I'm not looking for accolades. I don't ex expect a response or anything like that. This was shared with me. There was a reason why it was shared. I'm just sharing it with you. You know, so be on your guard. This is what they're saying. Just watch yourself. You know what I mean? These are the things they're saying that's going to happen around you. You know, and I have hesitation because I'm just like, and I even discussed this with two other healers. I'm like, do I share these messages? They're going to think I'm freaking nuts or they're going to sit there and be like, you know, oh, they just looking for a dollar. I ain't looking for nothing. Like this was shared with me. You were supposed to know this. I'm going to tell you, you know what I mean? And then I just leave it up to them what they do with it. You know what I mean? Just like when you come to me with a reading, I, I tell them some, my, my guides are shady and I'm just like, you know, I'm not saying it like this. I don't mean no disrespect. I said this, I would never word it like this because I have a filter, you know what I mean? But I will tell you the truth. And I'm like, this is what they're saying, you know, and it happens. And I'm just like, you know, their delivery is a little questionable, you know, but I trust them. You know what I mean? Like they have not steered me wrong, you know, especially when it comes to these really potent messages. Cause I'm just like, you know, damn, like, you know, someone going to be knocking on my door with a friggin' stray jacket soon. Like, you know what I mean? So, you know, you know how they all look at us like, oh, you know, kind of crook eyed and everything like, oh, you know, there's something wrong with you, you know, but there's not. It's just like they, people just don't want the truth out there, you know. So I feel like if this resonates with you and you're a healer and you have messages to pass forward, sit there and do it in a way where that is the only message being received. Because I feel like some of our information gets lost, especially with myself when I do the full moon forecast. It's like. I do timestamp everything, channel messages, uh, Viking runes, witches runes, and cards. But the videos, they're timestamped so you can fast forward to it. But I feel like the information gets lost in there. So I feel like breaking it up is what's going to really sit there and get the message out there. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's what's going to transform you to the next level of sharing your knowledge. You know what I mean? On a larger platform. So that's the reason I'm sharing that. Because if you're like myself, where you kind of question... Not question it, but it's just like, do I share it? And, and fearful of sharing it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, how many people would sit there and say the same thing about Sylvia Brown? Oh my gosh, that's so out there. This, that, the, but a lot of things she said. Some people will be like, oh, you know, not a lot of things. That, but maybe if you actually looked at what happened and what she said, it probably did. Maybe to, like with myself, they don't tell me all the knowledge. Like, you know, they saw Putin and, you know, they showed the flags, like, you know, coming together. And I'm just like, what? I thought they hated each other, you know, but I feel like that's where spirit is just like, you know, trusting in your guides that even though you don't not deliver all the messages, it will make sense. And it made sense. I'm just like, damn, you know what I mean? They sat there and they said something about Big Brother Canada. I'm like, what about it? Like what happened with, and that was when cough, cough happened and they, they ended the, um, the, the, the filming to keep everyone safe. Cause they're like, it's just. Your families, um, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with them. So we feel like you should be at home. So you're not concerned and worried and anxious. So we're just going to end production and all of you go home and, you know, be with your families, you know, because we don't know what's going to happen. And it made sense. You know, they, they made the right call. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like nobody wants to worry about their parents or their families, something going on at home. And you're on, quote unquote, a game show. You know what I mean? I feel like Big Brother is definitely a phenomenal experience. But at the end of the day, it's like, what do you put first? You know what I mean? So it totally, I definitely feel like they made the right call, you know? So I feel like if you are a healer and I feel like if you're like myself and you share it in, in like a um, collective, like I do, like I haven't had, um, I just got a major chill. If you share your knowledge the way that I do, like in a full moon or a new moon forecast or like a Mercury retrograde or something like that, break it up, share it. Do the cards as like just that, like, you know, as your forecast and then just be like, you know, these are, you know, channeled ruins. These are channeled, you know what I mean? Messages. So that way it comes out in a different way. So it reaches more people and different platforms will make more sense. You know, I have all platforms and it's just like, you know, some are, you know, one will do phenomenal on one platform and one will drop just like nothing on another platform. One will do, will get a thousand views and the other one, one view. You know what I mean? So it's just like share, it, you know, where it's supposed to land, it's supposed to land, you know, but I feel like that's where it's going to propel you to the next level and trusting. And I feel like that's the biggest thing is spirits like confirming those things. It's like, you know what? We're sharing this with you because of, you know what I mean? Be especially if you're like myself, 
I'm not new at the game, but the thing is, it, it's not even a game. I'm not new to this, but it's still like not even trusting. It's just like, you know, putting out information there that, you know what I mean? I don't ever want to sit there and put out information that would may harm someone or anything like that. If I could prevent something, like I did a reading with someone, I said, listen, you are being investigated. You need to stop what you're doing. They didn't stop doing what they're doing. They ended up in jail. And I'm like, I warned you that you need to stop your foolery. You didn't stop your foolery. And now look what happened. You know? And it's just like, you know, that's why I share it because I'm like, hopefully this will stop something from happening. Hopefully you will make, maybe you're in the process of making decisions or you're surrounding yourself with the wrong people, you know, places and things are behaving in behavior you shouldn't be. You know, it's like, stop it now before it get it's too late. You know what I mean? So it's just like that readings are meant for guidance. What you do with that guidance is up to you after that. You know, we did our part by sharing what we were supposed to share, you know, so take what you will, but you, you know. It's all about what we do with that knowledge. We go to the fool and exactly like I said, this is a brand new chapter. I feel like for a lot of us, this is a healing journey, especially going to the three of coins. It's like a divorce, a bereavement, um, a separation. They're saying sadness. You know what I mean? But it's like we've, we've taken the time to sit there and allow things to heal. We didn't sit there and let, you know, our, 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 our flesh is weak, but our, our mind is strong. Where it's just like, you know, yeah, we could give into these earthly temptations and indulge in these certain things. But it's like, it's only going to take us down a path of the definition of insanity. Repeating old cycles and patterns over and over and over again. And it, it leads to the same madness every single time. Because you're not, full, you're, though, what's the common denominator? You. You haven't healed you. You haven't sat there and gone through the lessons and blessings that were supposed to happen at this time. And take time for you, take a time out so you can get yourself right. So, you know, you can't always blame everybody else for what's going on. It's like, you know, at, you got to sit there and, you know, look at yourself in the mirror and be like, boo boo, we need to change something here. We need to take a time out. We need to heal, rest, rejuvenate. We need to get, you know, come together as a collective and do something different going forward. You know, does that mean you you have to go through a hermit mode? Maybe so. If you don't want to, that's fine. It's not for everybody. You know what I mean? If you feel like you have to, you know, monkey bar from relationship to relationship, just know it's going to be the definition of insanity every single time because you are not healing what needs to be healed in you. You know, three of coins. It's like, you know, some of us have ripped everything down to the core. You know, some of us have to sit there and build, even rebuild that foundation. You know, maybe the foundation is strong, which is you, but it's like we had to rebuild again. Rebuilding sucks. Ugh. And I told myself, I am never, ever going to let the, as far as we had to rebuild happen again. And I'm doing everything differently. Is am I going to punish, punish anyone that comes to my life? Hell no. But I'm going to be straightforward with them. Listen, your money is your money. My money is my money. We'll have a, a collective pot for bills at X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? But, you know... You know, I'm not a shady ass or anything like that. I will always be that loving, caring partner and I will love you till death do us part. I will love you till your last breath until you trans, even in when you transform. You know what I mean? But the thing is, I'm not going to let myself be frigged like the way I was last time. No way in heck. I trusted that person more than anyone in the world. You know what I mean? And the, the thing is, people's shadow sides are shady. It's just like, you know, and mm -mm, no. I feel like anyone that has gone through this journey is just like, you know what? I've learned my lesson. It's not to punish this person. It's just, you know, I will be straight up. You know what I mean? Like, you know, this is why they tell us to take our time, you know, and learn and teach our children, everybody. I don't care. He, she, they, them. I don't care what you identify as. You sit there and you make sure you have your saving. You sit there, get a paycheck, you put 20 bucks away every single freaking paycheck and you put that into a savings account. Make sure you have a savings account and a tax-free savings account. Sit there, tax-free, rainy day. Savings is like, you know, sit there and it's like, you know, maybe your car insurance goes up or, you know, you need to get a new tire or something, the whole new engine, hopefully not. But like, you know, you got to sit there and change a tire. They're showing the front um, driver's seat tire. You know what I mean? It looks like it's like the air has gone out of it. So maybe you got to get it filled or something like that. Or maybe get, get, get a new rim. Maybe you hit the curb or something like that. You know? But it's just like, you know, you have the money to do so. You know what I mean? It's I'm teaching my kids this. I'm like, you know, you're not going to 
you know, I put money away for them and I'm like, you're not touching that. You have your allowance. You could do what you want with that. That money you're not touching. Cause I would let them go in and out of their account and they would just, no, that's like, it ain't going up. You're not saving money. So this is your money. You want to put money in there. It, you ain't taking it back out. So either you spend it on what you want, that's your money. And I take so much and I put it in their saving account. And it's like, you're not touching that. That is for, you know, when you get older, you know, you want to get a car or something like that, you know, mm -mm. you know, got to teach them young, you know, we're even learning, we're learning that too. It's like, this is how much money you had from your paycheck. Say if you have older overdraft, you got to teach your kids these things. You know what I mean? Like school teaches you like, oh my gosh, months and months and months about radius and this and that. And it's like, when's the last time us as adults use radius? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you got to teach the kids everything to be well-grounded. Not all of us are growing up to be scientists. You know what I mean? As much as we all wish we could be, you know what I mean? But you know, no, we have the nine of cups. You know what I mean? Your future is bright. I love the fact that it's books behind him rather than a curtain. And I feel like you're gaining more knowledge as you move forward. And th think about what Sam was learning about the, 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 the knowledge of those before him. You know what I mean? So maybe you're, you're reading uh, uh, books or you're going back in time. You know what I mean? You know, like Egyptian, um, the, the ancient Egyptians, the pyramids, you know what I mean? Learning all of that is so f fascinating. The, going through the tombs gives me anxiety how small it is. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I would pro probably hyperventilate or something in there. But it's just like to see it and to, like, the, you know, how they were showing me in my third eye, how they were, they would not walk in those pyramids. I feel like that was a place of meditation. You know what I mean? Where they were just gliding. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen, like, I know that they're, their sarcophagus, like, you know, I know it's like coffin after coffin after coffin and then it's the mummy. But it's like, you know, the, how big the feet are. They're really concentrating on their feet and it's like they would glide. Their feet were like really big, like and long. Like it, it's not like our feet. And, and I don't know if their feet, their ankles were different where they would kind of like turn. I guess that's the way I would describe it. Like, you know what I mean? Kind of, you know, like when Fred Flintstone would paddle and you would see his feet going really fast. But it's just like, that's how the, it would it'd be in the temple. Like, if you look at the stairs, it's not like traditional stairs. You know what I mean? So I don't know. But it's very, it's really fascinating. I would love to visit there. I don't know if I would go inside though. Like, I would love to go see there. But I would have to go when it was cooler. Like, I know probably like sandstorms and something are common at that time. But, oh, I can't stand the heat. But I feel like this is where you're gaining ancient knowledge and it's going to be purposeful to you. And it, maybe it may not make sense now. But I feel like there's a purpose of you learning these things or why you're drawn to these things. Extra card, we got the Empress and you're ruled by love. And I feel like you use your gifts in a positive way. Some of us use it. Oh, I want to be famous. I want accolades. I want this and I want that. And it's like that knowledge is shared with you for a reason. That knowledge was bestowed upon you because they knew there was something special in it with you. It's like, what are you going to do with it? You know what I mean? Are you going to abuse it and use it for your own financial gain? Or are you actually doing this for the right reasons to sit there and heal the world and be the light and share that light with others? You know what I mean? It's like if there's no light around anyone, you make that light. You know what I mean? Uh, Greta Van Fleet said the same thing. It's like, you know, the world should be about love. Surround yourself with love. If there is no love, you create that love. RuPaul says the same thing. There's enough darkness in this world. Do not just surround yourself with darkness. Surround yourself with light. Sur you know, be that light. Dance, music, whatever it is. It's like, be that light. Be that happiness. Be that joy to others, you know? And that is what you are. When you are a person that lives in the higher self and you share your knowledge and you do readings for others, you do it because you are truly care and you want to sit there and help them and deliver those messages in such a pure and honest way, you know? It, it, we all get... A financial exchange for our time, our energy, the internet, the lights and everything like that, you know, but I, I agree with that. But it's like, don't put it to a point where we're breaking people. It's like they have to sit there and save for maybe like a year and p to just get a reading for a moment of your time. You know what I mean? It's like, th there's a reason for this purpose. And not everyone's going to agree with me. You know, I've heard people say like, you know, it's a business. Yes, it is. You know, it's a brand. Yes. Uh, and to some points, but the thing is, it's just like, where, do, where do we, where do those lines get blurred? You know what I mean? Like this is supposed to about be about healing. You know what I mean? Not about, you know, 
where we get to, just like if we, you know, people have the cure for cancer, you know, and instead of, you know, it only costs like $10 to make it, but they're going to sell it for millions of dollars because who doesn't want to live? Everybody wants longevity, right? So what is it going to cost you? Ten of Cups, unconditional love is around you. We keep getting rainbows, 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 unconditional love. You know, my son actually got a dream and he said it's a repetitive dream. And I said, that's showing you that your guardian angels are here, that you don't have to always stand on guard because he feels like, I guess, because his father has passed, that he has to be, you know, that protector, you know? And I'm like, well, your ancestor is showing you, you know, that, you know, that you are surrounded by protectors. You know, we don't do any shadiness or anything like that to, you know, bring anything towards us. So, you know, we do all the right things, you know, so don't worry about it. it. It's like stand down, you know, you can sit there and enjoy your life. You don't always have to be the soldier on duty protecting us, you know. We have the page of coins, you know, and this is where I say a money cycle is coming in here. You know, this is where I feel like it's like we're rebuilding and we're smarter this time. You know what I mean? It's just like when you, you have your partner, you're just like, oh, yeah, like, you know, I absolutely trust them. So we should. But it's just like, you know, at the same time. Got to be smart, too. Everybody should have a house account where all the bills get paid. We have a savings account, you know, together for, you know, if we need it, then you should have your own saving account. You know, you never know. You never, never, never know. Hard lesson to learn, but you learn it. That's why I'd rather I share this knowledge than keep it to myself. And then you learn from my heartaches, you know? So six of spheres, success, acknowledgement, prizes, self-confidence. We're getting a lot of prizes, uh, gifts, um, financial awards, or accolades with no harm to none, you know? coming in here. So I feel like you're going to be in that spirit of, you know, uh, boosting your confidence and being like, this is who you are. Taking a well-deserved bow. The harmony is six, uh, uh, six shows of, um, appreciation and success. You are recognized and rewarded for your work or your community educational sporting achievement. This card says yes. So some of us, when we, before we watch a tarot reading, we sit there and we ask a question. So this is answering yes for you. If the question was, will I pass my examination when this award, the, the card shows self-confidence in relationships, feeling high on love. You know, we're getting a lot of love coming in, especially the reading on Friday and yesterday where it's just like, you know, this romance is coming in. And a lot of us have been asking for this, but I feel like, you know, I know for myself, they're saying that November is when mine's supposed to happen. So it's just like, waiting for that person like you know we don't wish any harm on anyone you know what I mean sometimes we fall for people we you know that we don't uh, at the moment realize you know are married or engaged or anything like that or in a relationship but it's just like you know what do you do with that information now you know like now that you know do you sit there and still pursue that you're starting to build a karmic debt or do we sit there and be like you know what as much as I do like them it's just like you know I don't wish any harm on them. I don't want to get involved in that. I wouldn't want someone to do that to me. So, you know, leave it alone. Queen of Spears. So this is highlighting your intuitive self. And I feel like that's why I was sharing that as healers, you know, we sit there and, and I'm sure I'm not, as I speak, any healer that hears this, it's like there are times when we get knowledge, you know, information and downloads. And it's like, do I share this? You know what I mean? Like, what will happen to me? Will I be prosecuted for this? You know what I mean? Um, so it's just like, you know, we always sit there and say that, that it's meant for guidance. For me, I feel like, you know, especially the things about, you know, William that came through, it's preventative. You know what I mean? To sit there and prevent a situation from happening. The people that he thinks that love him and care for him don't actually do. Sometimes that greed, the shadow side comes in and it's like, I will not sit there and be overthrown. I will sit there and stay here and like my mother did until the day I pass. I will not be sitting there and ousted. You know, people are so thirsty for things sometimes. And it's like, you know what? When you pass, none of this will matter. You know, accept what has happened, that you're not the ruler that you think you are. You know what I mean? 
and let someone step in that the people can relate to, you know, Pe people that actually care. You know, what happened? You sit there and take these roles and all you care about is money and accolades and this and that. You know what I mean? But you forget what you're supposed to be representing. And that is the people that you represent. Taxing the living crap out of us and we're supposed to celebrate you. Is, like, are you serious? You know what I mean? It's just like people are doing, like, you know, sitting there and c contemplating. Can I buy apples? Apples are ex extreme. Uh, butter? Milk? Can I afford to buy these things or do we go without? You know, what can I sacrifice so I can afford milk? What can I sacrifice to pay for gas to get to my job to afford milk? You know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, sometimes that goes right to their head, right to their ego. Creativity, expansion, focus, energy, empowerment. This talkative queen has a passionate fairy nature. Fiery, not fairy. Fiery nature. She is authentic and driven. A creative, intuitive soul. She often works in arts, communication, administration. Applied to a situation, she invites you to express yourself. Wow. So we were just talking about that. Express yourself. This card also shows strong relationships and energy and growth. And I feel like the more that you give into this, you know, side, you know, it's not easy peasy lemon squeezy. I will 100% tell you that. But it's like, you know, we, it was bestowed upon us for a reason. To express ourselves. To share the knowledge you know what I mean? What the world is to expect as it evolves and moves forward. What can we do to hopefully stop some of this nonsense? So the fool. So don't forget it's that sphere. You know, all of us are ruled with planets that have the, you know, the sphere that rules us. You know, with uh, the Empress, it's Venus. We're ruled by love. You know what I mean? A lot of us wear our heart on our sleeve. A lot of us care a lot. You know, but it's just like we got to realize that we can only do so much. You know, we can't fix everybody. We can't do everything for everybody as much as we would love to. I wish I could do this, 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 this. But there's only so many times in the day. We only have so much energy. We're mortal, uh, mortal at the end of the day. We get exhausted. So it's just like, you know, you can't live someone's life for them. You can't sit there and lead them to the water and make them drink it. They have to sit there and do, drink them for themselves. You know what I mean? It's just like Jesus was like, you can sit there and teach, uh, you know, you can either feed a man you know, fish, or you could teach the man how to fish. So he'll learn how to feed himself for years to come. And hopefully they will bestow that knowledge on the next person. You know, here, let me teach you how to fish. I could feed you, but let me teach you so you can learn how to feed yourself and feed your family when they when that time comes. Risk, innocence, opportunity, beginnings, use, and in, intuitiveness, an adventure, opportunity, new phase, or perspective beckons. There's an air of spontaneity. And optimism, as you follow your dreams in the spirit of freedom, take a breath before you begin and calculate the risk before you take the leap of faith. Independence, a student, a young person leaving home. Maybe like you're like myself where your kids are, you know, in their teens. And my son is really flourishing into this, you know, gentleman, you know, where appreciation I, last week I was like sitting there and I was like, I'm going to go check the milk. He put the milk in the fridge. You know, when I come back, I'll put away the rest of the groceries. Yep. No problem. Came home. All the groceries were put away. I'm like, wow. I'm like, thank you. They're like, seriously? And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I appreciate that. You know, one last thing for that I have to worry about, you know, like you, you sat there and did that for me. And it's like, now I can, you know, um, I can't remember what I was doing. But I was so like, I could have put my time somewhere else. Like, you know what I mean? And I appreciated that. You know what I mean? It's just those, it's not even small. I hate to say it's small because I don't want to overlook it. But it's just like, you know, you know how teenagers can be. You know, they're just like, they just expect everything done for them. You know, to sit there and give me, you know, we, we didn't order much. But it was just like, you know, it, it didn't matter. It was just like the fact that they sat there and thought of me. It was just like, you know. But less for mom to do. You know what I mean? Um, they put the, I put the fan on them last night and one of them got up before me and they put the fan on me and I'm just like, you know, that's like, thank you. That's very, you know, kind of you. You know what I mean? It's just like, they're showing where it's just like, you know what I mean? I know the fan is on me. So like, you know, I know they're purposely keeping me cool all night. So now I'm going to put it on them, you know? But it's like, you know, thinking of others and I appreciate that. You know what I mean? That's why it's like, 
never look at it as a small gesture. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it's small. I feel like it's huge. I feel like he's really becoming, coming into his own and you know what I mean? They even verbalize that. Like they saw how many hours I was working. They're just like, thanks mom. And you know, I'm like, you don't have to thank me. This is my job. You know what I mean? This is what I've always done and what I always continue to do, you know, because I want them to live a certain way. You know what I mean? I want us to be comfortable. You know, that's why I'm working so damn hard, you know, but they've expressed like, you know, that they want the two days with them. And I understand that, you know, so it's just like, you know, shifting all that shifting where I'm like, you know, working while I'm work on my days that I work and, you know, try to adjust things. So that way when I'm off, I'm, my time is with them. So with the three of swords for me, it's like this healing has taken place. You've made the decision to let things heal. You're on a healing journey. You know, pain, suffering, sorrow, betrayal. So heartbreak is accompanied by quarreling, drama, disorder. At the very least, you are able to put difficult feelings into words. Venting, frustration, sadness, anger as you move on from shock. You know, the best way that I could describe a, a widow journey is like, you know, being hung over and can't think straight. You know, that's the the best way I can articulate uh that, that kind of fog that you feel. You can't think straight, you know. You have so much on your plate. It's just like, you know, with us, it was like, not only are we getting, you know, waking up for the first time without Shane physically there, you know, um, and waking up to that reality, you know. But it's just like, now we have to sit there. Like, we had an oil change that Saturday, you know, so I had to call them and be like, you know, I had to cancel that. And I'm just like, you know, that's what kind of snowballed everything going. It's just like, they're like, make sure you call everybody and get everything in place. So I was like, okay, you're right. You know what I mean? And it was just, it was hard to articulate into words. It was just like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, this just happened, you know? So I'm just like, you know, I'm sorry to call you. I, I, I cried. I couldn't, I had, I was like, sorry, give me a moment. I was like, I'll call you back. They're like, nope, take a moment. And then we'll sit there and help you out. You know what I mean? The best way we can, you know? So it's just like, you know, I don't wish that on anyone, honestly. You know, if you're uh, in a partnership where you guys are not married, you know, go get some legal documents done up where everything is spelled out for everybody, you know, or write it in your own handwriting and sign it. You know what I mean? So that way... It's, you know, you, what your wishes are followed. You know what I mean? Because you never know what's going to happen. You know, we never know what tomorrow brings. We didn't, he didn't even expect that. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you know, when you get through that and you get on the other side of things, this is where the rebuilding starts. You know what I mean? It's just like once, once the fog lifts, you are able to articulate and you will stand like for me, it's just like, I was so fragile. It's just like, I went along with everything and anything. Cause I just didn't want to shake the boat. I'm just like, I don't want any confrontation. I don't care what happens. I just, you know what I mean? I just want to move forward. And when the fog lifted, everyone's like, Oh, you've changed. I'm like, yeah. Cause I remember everything you did to me when I was going through my fog and you try to keep, keep my head underwater. So I remember that. Don't forget, don't think I forgot. Just because at that moment I was in shock and grieving, don't think I didn't make mental notes of everything that happened there. You know? Oh, I, I, I don't remember that. Oh, that's how, how convenient. I'm not out for blood, but I won't forget it. You know what I mean? It's just like, remember that. So, three of coins. This is where you're, you've not only laid the foundation, you're now building the skeleton. You're now rebuilding your life. You've made the choice to move forward. You know what I mean? And this time, you're gonna. I even said that. I'm going to make sure that this mother effer does not fall. Like, I've learned my lessons that I needed to learn, you know, in this. You know, projects, prosperity, acclaim, early success. Your good work gets attention, so projects on other enterprises receive praise and support. This creative shift is is how others see you. So be prepared for congratulations, maybe a touch of envy as you successfully complete a key phase that sets you up for the future. This card also favors prosperity. So you may be working on proving your home. So they actually said that to me. The move that we're supposed to do is not going to happen. I was just like, what? They're like, someone is purposely stopping it. I'm like, okay. And they're like, we're protecting you. And I'm like, are you protecting me from the place? Are you protecting me? I have a feeling who the person is. But it's just like, what is the protection from? 
you know, and I feel like I'm not supposed to know that right now. And it's like, okay. So it's just like, okay, you're, they're like, do you understand? I was like, no, <laughs> it's just like, you know, like I'll be a hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent honest with spirit. It's like, you're protecting me. Okay. I understand you're protecting me, but why, you know, and they're not telling me. So I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? But it's just like, you can change your home around so that it's more comfortable, not livable. It is livable. But it's just like more comfortable. So like, you know, my kids are purging their toys, you know, which is so hard on me. I'm like, you know, no, no more cute toys and all, you know, the things that my son, Junior has loved elephants since he was like two. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, I bought him a crystal elephant. I found it broken. I was so upset about that. But it's like, mm. you know, I could have kept that and put it by his uh, picture or something. But anyway. It's just like, I'm going to wrap those up because you may want them later in the future. You know what I mean? But it's just like his Five Nights at Freddy's plushies that he, oh my gosh, his video, that's where all of his videos came from. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, oh, you know, now that they're, they're done with that and I'm just like, Meh. you know, I'm like, maybe I should just, you know, store them for now because I have a funny feeling once they reach in their 20s and, you know, we move into a bigger place where they have a bigger room and they have shelves and everything and they can sit there and you know, display them because you see a lot of the creators do that. They have their, you know, their, the Five Nights at Freddy's and everything all around their, their filming studio and stuff like that. So that kind of stuff, I think I'll keep for them just in case they change their mind. Some of it I said they should sell, you know, and they could get all the money for it. I don't want the money for it. I bought it for them, you know, but it's just like, um, it, it's hard, you know, it's just, you know, <laughs> I miss when they were small. I really do. But it's just like, you know, I appreciate who they're growing into. Like, I honestly do. You know, when you go through this journey, it's like you always worry, like, you know, especially like if they're when Jenner is 18, I don't have to worry about, you know, like Jenner could take, you know, custody of Michael. You know, I don't put out that in the universe or anything like that. But you think about you can't help but think about those things, you know, because this it's like Shane didn't expect to pass away. So it's just like, you know, you don't never know, you know, nothing's ever promised. So. You worry about those things, you know, but, you know, reality is I take care of myself and, you know, I work hard, but, you know, I don't work to a point where, you know, I'm putting myself in any danger. You know what I mean? I do what I can. I know I can tell when my body needs to rest and I listen, you know, so it's bittersweet. You know, like I said, this chapter is, this book is bittersweet, you know, wishes, rewards, happiness, sharing. The nine is the tarot's wish come true card. You not only manifest what you desire, but you also get to enjoy it. It's time of, of abundance, growth, reward, affection, laughter, and new connections as relationships and new ventures flourish. You share your rewards. All are welcome at your table. That's the thing. They know who you are. They know as they bless your hands, you will bless many others. That's why you will see one thing after another, after another, after another. Like they said, everything that has been taken from you will be replaced 10 times fold. It will not happen as quickly. You want everything instantly. But the thing is, you're supposed to learn along the way. You will learn a greater appreciation of things that come into your life because of that journey you went through. It is a hard mother freaking journey, but you will get through it. You will survive this as long as you keep fighting. You know, not every day is going to be perfect. I'm not going to sit there and tell you, oh, sunshine and rainbows and da 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 Remember I told you guys purple dragonfly? I friggin' saw them yesterday. I was cutting the grass and he landed on the blade of long grass. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to take a picture. And stupid me walked too close and he flew off. I was so mad. But I was just like, oh my gosh, there it is. And I said, you, spirit said that you will get a positive confirmation of this with a purple dragonfly. I got to go back and watch that video. But oh my gosh, there is the purple dragonfly. I couldn't believe it. I saw a purple dragonfly statue on the round. I couldn't, like, I kid you not. They said there was a round stone that would have a purple dragonfly on it. And I'm like, okay. I It came across my For You page. I'm like, wow, okay. And then I'm like, you know, hopefully I'll see one outside. And I saw it yesterday. I was just like, oh my gosh. Just like they said, you know, but it was both of them. I thought that was pretty cool. But um, that's what I mean, you know, queen of spears, step into your intuition, trust spirit. And maybe like, even with myself, they're like, we're protecting you. Understand? I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't understand, but I trust you. You know what I mean? So it's just like, that's where it's just, oh uh, man, it's like this journey is like so magical, but it's, sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, 
You want to lay on the floor. You're like, why? <laughs> why do I have to learn this? Why do I have to endure this? You know, but, you know, you'll get through it. You know, surround yourself with positive people. You know, watch comedy. I I kid you not. Wendy Williams was my savior when I went through this. It was that one hour she made me laugh. I even wrote her and told her that. I'm like, you know, I want to thank you for that one hour of the day. You are my peace and refuge. Like, I kid you not. You are my refuge from this freaking nightmare that I'm enduring right now. <clears throat> I was so sad to see that happen. And they said that was going to happen. That they were going to take her out. That these younger people don't appreciate her. You know? A lot of people will say what they will say about her. You know what I mean? But it's like she was a straight shooter. You know? She, she, she told you exactly who she was. Exactly what was going on. Maybe you didn't want public to know about it. But, you know... She knew them. There was a reason why people gave her that information because they wanted it out there. You know, don't shoot the messenger, but they did. You know, I pray that she will fight and come back stronger than ever. I hope she goes to do teaching like she wanted to do. You know what I mean? To sit there and be that inspiration to others. She still is an inspiration. She's just going through a journey right now. And I pray to God she finds her way back to the light. You know, that she will get through this. She will endure this. You know, that's not easy to say goodbye to a marriage of that many years and a career of that many years and giving your heart and soul to so many people, you know, and people are trying to hold her head down. She will, she will be that Phoenix rising up. Mark my words. She will come out of this, you know, you got instead of hating on her, don't turn that karma. Don't be that spiteful person. Sit there and pray for it that she's able to come out of this, you know, don't be bitter about things. Because, like, even people that have done things to me, it's like, I'm not bitter about it. Even when I went against me, myself and my kids, you know, because I was just like, I know how much Shane loved and respected these people. You know what I mean? I did out of respect for him. You know what I mean? Even they, though they, they they thought they said behind closed doors all these shady, slick things. And it's like, mm, you know, the world is round. Things come around and around. The truth always comes to the surface. So, you know, don't expect me now to sit there and be like, oh, no worries. I don't mind that you said all those things about me. All those nasty things. It done all those nasty things. It's okay. Go live your life. I live mine. You know. You reap what you sow. So. You know what I mean? Don't sit there and wish karma on nobody. You just say, you know what? There's a reason why they say let go and let God. That is in so many situations. And when people do you wrong, you don't wish them ill. You bid them farewell and you go on your journey. You take away your energy, you suffocate them because now they cannot, or they have no more access to your energy and you move on. Let the universe deal with them. And when it happens, you don't sit there and celebrate. You just be like, okay, I see you. I acknowledge what you're doing here and I'm going to keep moving forward in my direction. You know, it will happen. May not happen today or tomorrow, but mark my words, there will come a day when you're sitting there and out of the blue, you will hear X, Y, and Z and you're like, mm-hmm. And just keep moving forward. You know? That's okay. You know? The, some way, somehow, the universe, whatever has been taken from you, will be brought back to you a million times fold. You keep being this chariot. You keep being the empress. You keep being the, the queen of wands. You keep moving forward. Your future is bright. Don't let anyone tell you different. Don't ever let anyone dim your light. They'll try to put your head underwater and dim your light. Don't let them. You will come out of that, you will and survive, and it will be hard, but you will do it. You are meant for a bigger purpose than all this little petty nonsense. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, July the 6th, 2023. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card.